Welcome to the intro. I'm Davina Doyle, and today on the show, we are featuring queer Cree singer songwriter Fontaine. She's a well known collaborator in the Winnipeg music scene, and today she takes center stage. It's Fontaine with Homemaker. Thank you so much for coming to our show today. Thank you for having us here. Speaking of us, can you introduce the band? Of course. I have Boy Golden or Liam Duncan on the bass and Austin Perihoniak on the drums. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here today. Let's go to that song you just played, Homemaker. Sure. There's nothing worse than that feeling of being stuck in a relationship or stuck in a life. When you wrote that song, how did it help you get out of that situation? Like you said, I was like in a place where I just was feeling pretty stuck and kind of, as the words go, lost myself. And uh, it just helped me process and figure out what my next move was going to be. And uh, yeah. A lot of musicians I talk to kind of look at 
songwriting as almost a therapy session. Is that how it is for you? Absolutely. Yeah, it's really just every song I write is just me working through something, (laughs) whether it's a good thing or not. It's just working through and processing whatever feelings I have going on. (laughs) Which is really interesting because as a kid, you grew up surrounded by music. And I'm assuming it had the same effect on you singing and listening to music at that point as writing does now. What music shaped you? Yeah, I mean, so both my parents were big music fans. My dad was a musician, um, and they listened to a lot of classic rock growing up. My dad was a big Queen fan, so I listened to a lot of Queen growing up. The most melodic of all Yeah, exactly. I think that's where my love of uh, lots of stacked harmonies came from, probably. Um, Yeah, like Sheryl Crow. I was a big Avril Lavigne fan. It was kind of all over the place. (laughs) Speaking about your dad, he was a musician. Totally. So you grow up going on the road with him. How did that inspire you or deter you from being a musician yourself? Yeah. I mean, it was never a deterrent. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, from like a week after I was born, I was on the road with my dad and my mom no. too. Yeah. And uh so I just I've just always loved it and always wanted to do it. <laughs> Along with your song Yarrow Lover, nature really has this recurring theme in all of your music. How does it inspire you in your daily life? I think I am just, I feel most myself when I'm out on the land, surrounded by green stuff and, you know, I can touch the dirt and uh, it's just really grounding for me. And I also feel that way when I play music. And so I think that just together is something that really makes me feel like me. Most people know your work. Uh, from playing in Boy Golden and Church Better Days, which is fantastic, by the way. But how does it feel for you now in this moment, being front and center, we're here, we're talking about your work, your songs. How does that feel? It feels crazy. <laughs> um, but it also feels really awesome. I, I know, you know, I'm just like super grateful to be a part of that band and all of those people are my best friends and being able to do this also with them is really amazing and It feels really cool to finally be able to have my own songs out and yeah. Yeah, it seems it seems like you put in a lot of the groundwork and now it's all happening really fast. I just saw videos that you did, one with Leith Ross and Mm -hmm. one with you and Curry from the Sheepdogs. How do you go into an experience like that, world class musicians? What do you take from that and try to bring back to your own stuff? Those people are my friends, which helps a lot. (laughs) So I just am hanging out with some pals of mine and I think I'm like, (laughs) have pretty big imposter syndrome most Mm -hmm. of the time. Yes. (laughs) So I'm like, ah, what's going on? (laughs) But yeah, I just, I'm just like mostly hanging out with my friends, which is all I'm thinking about. (laughs) Now, what about your Cree heritage? How does that inspire your music? I feel like super connected to the land Mm -hmm. and I have a lot of like nature themes in my songs Um, and I just really am inspired by music as a tool, like for communication, um, because we've been making music since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. And I just can feel that when I am writing or playing and I just, yeah, that's just the way that it is. And it seems that your Cree heritage and the nature theme play with each other hand in hand. Totally. And this next song, Yarrow Lover, can you tell us about some of the themes in nature throughout that song? For sure, yeah. So yarrow is like, um, it's a flower, um, but it has some healing properties. And when I was writing that song, I was about to end a relationship. And I was also thinking of, you know, different sorts of flowers and things that I could be writing about. And when I thought of yarrow, I was just like, this time of my life has been super healing, you know kind of a weird thing to think about but also um yeah it was just super healing and I grew a lot and um and that's why I wrote it We 
job. That was Yarrow Lover. It's also the name of your EP. Why did you pick that title to be the name of your EP? I think like the the whole EP is kind of talking through me working through one particular subject. Um, and I think that that feeling of healing and growing just kind of encapsulates the whole EP. Tell me about the process between writing that song and standing here today. When I wrote that song, that was like four years ago now probably that I wrote it. And since then, I've been working with different folks, trying to figure out what like the EP was going to sound like and what the Fontaine sound was mm-hmm. going to be. Um, and I ended up working with my friend Chris Ulrich, who is also an incredible musician. And uh, we worked together to just really find that 
sound. And then I wrote more songs, and then we made the EP. The music scene in Winnipeg is blowing up. It's it's like Yorkville in the 60s. It's crazy. <laughs> How does it feel to be a part of that community? It's very exciting. And yeah, there's tons of incredible music coming out of Winnipeg right now. We were just at South by Southwest, and everybody we were around almost was from Winnipeg, which obviously no was really way. nice because we were friends with most people. And it, it's just really cool uh, to be a part of that. It's a very supportive community, and we all are <laughs> very caring and loving with each other, and it's just really awesome. Another community that you're a part of is the LGBTQ plus community. Mm-hmm. How does your queerness show up in your music? I mean, all of the songs are about me being a queer person for the most part. Um, and I think it's just really important to, for me personally, to be, you know, very vocal about it because people need to see that representation. How does it feel to you knowing that you're out there being vocal about who you are and some little girl or some little boy is listening to your music for the first time? How does that feel? It feels really <laughs> crazy and awesome. Um, I've had like a couple parents come up to me and like, af- you know, at some random time, like on the street or something and tell me that their six year old was at one of my shows and they have been like singing the songs over and over again. And it's just very crazy and cool. This next song is called 4am. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, um, I think the song's a, a bit of an outlier on the album. Um, it sounds a little different than the other songs. Uh, it was kind of a, an experimental thing, but I literally wrote it at 4 a.m. one night. I was living in the uh, the loft area of the house I was in, which was actually with Chris Ulrich, um, and it was storming outside, it was raining, and I was like, hmm, I should write a song and try and make it sound like this thunderstorm, <laughs> and then that's what I did. said you didn't care about the weather anyhow I know that you prefer it sunny Well I like the time we spend inside your room with the lights off You wrapped me in a warm sheet Then you took my clothes off I took your clothes off You'd have thought about this a bit sooner than you did, you did Cause now my heart is on the floor Heart is on the floor mm-hmm. But I know you had the best intentions You're so sweet and that's what makes this hard for me That's what makes this hard for me that's what makes this hard for me. was Turtle Island's own Fontaine repping Winnipeg and her Nehia Esquio roots. 
If you want to know more about Fontine, head on over to cbcmusic.ca slash the intro.